the reason why that's there is for the uh, perpendicular circumference of the radius uh, vast deference. What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing... What I even say? What You know what? Let me do this. What's going on, members? Thank you for being here. It's because of you I'm able to get products like this. Or huge shout out to a Hazer. Mac Proxen sent me this. And he sent me just not this. So the other day I was asking about Billabox because you know all the ones that I have. And as much as I do not like other Billabox accessories or anything, I just recently did a review on the Aspire Jimmy that I'm using in a Billabox that Mac Proxen sent me. Make sure that that's that in focus. So I was using the purple one because the wrap black basically sat for a long time, juice got inside, got into the chip, and essentially dried up, became sugary, and then kind of seized the board up to the actual mod, taking the board out, replacing it, and then a couple of the wires snapped, and a lot of shit is packed up, so not able to fix it. And I was looking for another wrap black version, or black, I think it's the, uh, the, the, the black pie bulb, Right? No, Pie Bold is a different button. Anyway, uh, as much as I love, I, I know what people's argument is with Billabox, right? I, we're going to be doing a review on the Excel Set V2, by the way, which I never picked up because I, I just haven't been able to get it. But I got this because Matt gave it to me, and he knows how much I love Billabox. Now, <sighs> I love the company, right? Like, le legitimately love the company. The problem is, is that people can use an argument and say, well... With the billet box, it's kind of the new standard, like how 510s were and how 810s are. I get the argument, I do. And if billet box doesn't really do anything to become better or become more innovative and it's just the same shit, it opens the market for other people to make better things that use borrowed tanks. As much as you may not want companies to do it, if you're not going to change anything, and even if you do change something, you can't expect other businesses to pick that up. That doesn't mean that I appreciate it or I like it, but at the same time, it's like, what are you going to do, right? And Billet Box, it, I don't want to say in their defense, but in the public's defense eyes, they never really made bridges. They did the thing with Atmanis Key, not, not, not Atma Makani and not Atmazu, Atmastique. That was the bridge that they had. They had a racer bridge, but they never actually made their own. They always expected people to make them. So is it really any different if they're making their own borrow tanks? I don't know. I don't think so. Because you never made anything. Plus, it'd be extremely difficult. Again, I mentioned this. It'd be extremely difficult to make new bridges for newer coils. Because there's 5,000 other coils that have came out. So you have to adapt to that. At the same time, you have to adapt to different bridges that are rebuildables because nobody else is doing it. So that's okay. I 100% I agree with the bridges being okay. The borrow tanks... If you're going to use coils like I do, I make it okay. I know it's not, don't say it's hypocritical because it's not. Because you saw me using the Nautilus Prime. I eventually said, look, I have to go back to the billet box. And then since I've had this, you know, the Boro Bridge with, well, it's not a Boro Bridge, a Boro that accepts the BP coils. As far as the box is concerned, I guess Boro is the new 510. And, but what we're going to be doing today has got nothing to do with really the billet box, the borough, aside from it just being compatible. And it's an Exoset V2. I wasn't the biggest fan of the original Exoset. I'm going to show you that. This should be a little bit different. The original Exoset had a very big juice port, like the, the, the cutouts were vastly large, but it was one of the pioneers, that and the Insider. Like, yeah, there were ones before that, but those were like the first diehard rebuildable heads for the Boros. And Mac, again, huge shout out to you. I know you've been a hazer for over two years. You are an absolute beautiful creature. I love your bald head. Um, if I was gay, it's like your dick. But uh, in the meantime, let's bring this down. Let me show you everything inside of the box. It's going to be vague. We're going to put a build in it. We're going to put it inside the Boros. Let's see how it runs. Exocet V2 by Hellfire. Let's flip it. All right. So what you're looking at is the packaging for the Hellfire Exocet 2. Really nothing. You know, when you're talking about something high end, this is exactly how you're going to get it. So let's open it up. And then voila. There it is. Exocet V2. It looks like some... Uh, are those airflow pins? Huh. And then you get some battery wraps, right? Simple enough. So what I'm going to do now, I want to show you the original Exocet. 
pull out all these bridges. There's a lot of them. That's the Otis. And guess what? I don't have it here. A little bit of a problem. I can't find the original Exo set, but uh, it, it, I can tell you just by looking at this, I do have this top section. I'm sure the Exo set is regular straight. So let's just go over this, right? You do have these little pins. I'm assuming are for the airflow adjustment, right? Let me pull these out. Let's see. Kind of all look the same, don't they? Oh, that's that's definitely a mouth to lung. We'll figure out where they go. So this is your chimney. This is your top section. These are very, very, very simple. And then there are your posts. Now, on the original Excel set, it was just two kind of posts. And then that was it. This doesn't... I would have liked to have seen here where these ridges are or these, these, these posts, there should be a little bit of a tail to stop leads from really falling out. Self-explanatory. So the finishing, the machining on this is very, very well done. Again, with Hellfire, you're really not going to see a lot of Dings, Dents, Burr, Spurs, Cowboy Boots. It's just not going to be much of a thing. This is the adapter that you'll use once you have the build-in to really fire it up and make sure it's good to go, right? And then it looks like these little guys, is there any kind of... No, it doesn't say anything on it as far as what it is, but makes me believe that these would go in. Well, that's tight. That's more open. And then this one. So it looks like you have a very mouth to lung version, a restrictive version, or all the way open. That's the one we're going to use. So I'm assuming it would go in like this. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. It doesn't screw in, but. <laughs> and there it is. That's the original Exo set. I'm glad Bree found it. Uh, so there, there you go. So you kind of get the idea. It was inside of the Hellfire Jamie that I did a review on. Let me pull this out. So you can see here that what they did different. This screws in like this, and then it popped off. Versus this using an adapter. I'm assuming that's the way that that looks. I wonder what those channels are for. Maybe that goes in more. We'll take that apart. And then there you go. That's the original. So very, very old school. You know, it, it is going to be a lot different. This version versus the original. This here, that is that is tight. But it definitely goes in. But you see these little channels there. That's, that is interesting. Why are they there? Because that definitely goes in. When you see me put this in, watch. That's That's tight. doesn't kind of go in anymore that's really it those little ports there are very interesting what they are you know what's also interesting is i guess to adjust the airflow you would do that because that's going to go in and then the air you're going to get a lot of air I, i'm wondering how turbulent that is all right so let's put the bottom section in and put a build in it I had to adjust this build a little bit. As much as you may think, to have that coil high, what, what you're gonna run into is when that top section comes down on the bell cap, it could touch this. So you really want that lower than those posts. And make sure your legs are very, very, very flush cut. This is a problem you see a lot of bridges. This does give you a little bit of room, but at the same time, they could bring these posts in, but it would also cut in too. Like if this wasn't all extra here, right? And all extra here, you could have brought those in because the coil's not really gonna be touching there because that's where the legs are. But because this is designed this way, it's gonna make it very tight. We're gonna be using Saito, which is a vanilla almond. This is what I use in all of my rebuildable bridges. You see how we're not cutting the cotton yet. That is the Exoset V2. Now you see the cotton, don't stress. Still picking up at a 0.77. We are good to go. Let's bring it back on top.
thank you for watching as much as you have of this video. I want to take a moment of your time. But wait, before you bounce, there's more. Patreon.com slash Jay Hayes is where you're going to find a lot of the videos that I don't really release out to the public. And, of course, access to my products before anybody else or at all. Because sometimes, or most of the time, I don't release any of my products to the public. Plus, you also get Crowdcast access where you... Don't really talk to me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but it allows you to listen to me talk to myself for two hours and you can enjoy yourself. Or, wait, there's more! If you're in the $25 tier, you get to do Zoom access, which is where it's a bunch of people where we just get nude and dance around. And it's super fun. And Discord access, wait, there's more! Ah, fuck it. Just go check it out. Patreon.com slash Hayes. Also in the description down below. All right, back on top with the, not the billet box, but what's on the inside right there. That's it, right? That's what you've been wanting? No? You, 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 maybe you don't want it. I have no idea. Exoset V2 with Saito in it. You could pick that up at a, there is a lot of sites all over the world that carry hazy liquids. I do recommend Saito, Rain Dance, Lost Recipe, and Right Side Up. I know that's a lot. It, there, there's a lot that I recommend, but those specifically... Let's just see. Now, you probably were not supposed to do what I did with that O-ring, but whatever. It fits, and <laughs> I don't know the purpose of those rivets on the inside. I know someone in the comments, they're going to know. that The reason why that's there is for the uh, perpendicular circumference of the radius uh, vast deference, uh, the way that it goes into the uterus there. Perfect. Perfect fit every single time. Hit the ovaries right on the button. Here we go. Good airflow. And that's the thing with billet boxes, right? No matter what bridge you get, dialing it down. Being with the pin is super smart. A little bit of a pain in the ass every time I gotta do a bill versus the original Axel set. Seems like we're kind of regressing. Uh, I, uh, they could have st still done the 510 attachment on the inside. But there's a reason why they did that pin. Like, th there's a reason, because you see those little cuts in there? I Maybe to swap out that casing, maybe they're going to make a different... I have no idea. I don't know. You would think because that airflow, right? So you saw the pin, how both sides are cut out. I see why you do that, because there are certain... I, I want to say billet box-esque, but Boro-compatible devices, right? That's what this is. A Boro compatible device that has airflow in awkward positions, whether it's on the front, which I have no idea how to fuck your vaping like this and covering up the airflow. Uh, there are ones that are like that. So it allows you to move that pin around to really, it's got to be for connection. Like that's really bothering me why he's got those cuts in there. But it's you can adjust that airflow just by spinning it. If they were to cut it off and make it so it's just one side ported, I don't think it would be enough airflow. And it's not hurting the flavor at all. Like, the flavor is phenomenal. The chimney's short. It's an awkward shape. It's kind of like a... Like an oval with flattened sides. Like a hexagon-ish. It, it, it works well. Should be waking is it bubbles? Maybe you don't. I don't know. But, uh, you know, you know it, oh, there it goes. There goes a bubble. It, it just went up. There it is. You should see it up here somewhere. But I don't even know why I was showing that. Like, I'm making some shit up. Oh, it's not the real one in there. I've seen people do that. There's a review that I watched uh, a couple months back. I was doing a review of a rebuildable head. And then when he went back on top to show it, it, I think it was live. It wasn't even the same product. It's a totally different Boral Tech. But you didn't want to show that. I guess that's the, the upside of having a Boro device, right? Is that what people call it? Or do they call it billet boxish? <laughs> Probably Boro device. Very, very solid for what it is. I have no idea the price point, but Excel said it's probably 150 bucks. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Some people argue and say it's too much. I'm going to buy the SXK version. Of course you are. Of course you are. You know, SXK and all these clone versions of products, they wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the people that originally created it. Keep that in mind. 
oh, there's no way to get it. Yeah, there is. If you want something bad enough, you'll find a way to get it. Just like your wife wasn't that won't let you spend money to go buy a car. But you'll suck her pussy long enough for something to wear. She'll be like, oh, okay, it's all right, George. You know, you could go buy that car. Anyway, moving forward. It's very solid. Very solid. Jesus, that is good. If I was to rate this bridge on a 0 to 10, 7.5. A little bit of a... I, I would go to 8 to an 8.5 if I didn't have to use that attachment every single time. Because what happens, right, is... And that's probably... I, I think that the, the little accessory, the O-ring that is in there, is for to hold that in, right? Because if that's not in, will it come loose? Probably, because there's really nothing holding it in. So if you keep that O-ring in there, that'll keep that pressure. But when you go to rebuild it, guess what you have to do? Take that O-ring out, because then you can't do it. I had to rebuild that. You know, I cut that part out, because God forbid I leave that in. Oh, my God. It is the end of the world. Look at the ether. Oh, my God. If you, if I show you a flaw that I did, like a regular consumer would, it should be flawless. It should, it should be perfect every time. No, I had to go back and lower it down. Still the same resistance, 0.77 versus the other one that was 0.75. So still the same shit. But yeah, put, I'd say put that O-ring in there to keep it. But then when you have to rebuild it, you have to find that attachment. Don't lose it. I'm sure there's other ones that work with it. No, it wouldn't because of the pin. That's the only problem I have with a lot of the bridges is you can lose certain parts. I get it. Keep all your shit in the same place. I, I understand that. But mistakes do happen. And I can't tell you how many times I've lost shit like squawk pins and then I have to buy a clone just to get another pin because that manufacturer doesn't make that RDA anymore. That sucks. It really does. And I have a hard time even using a clone pin. The pin that goes into an RDA. 7.5. I would say if it had a 510 connection on it and still be able to swap out the pins for airflow, I'd probably go to an 8.5. Very, very solid. I would recommend this. I feel like I have to remove my rating because all the other reviewers are doing ratings now. And if you go back to their old videos, guess what? There's no rating. There's none. They'd say pros and cons and it'd be done. Now they have a rating scale? Get the fuck out of here with that shit. I did that. Nobody else. I've kept it real. So can you. Jesus.